Good morning, Verge fam of YouTube. I got some announcements to make. As uh, those who've been following me uh, on my YouTube and stuff in the past few years, um, I damn near died multiple times, actually. In my lifetime, it would take me like uh, more than 20 minutes to even begin to explain the amount of uh, near-death experiences I've had. Which honestly had made me a better band. But anyway, getting to the point, uh, I'm all vaccinated. I'm much healthier now. And I am on the come up again. Uh, so I'm going to be traveling a lot again uh, in repping XVG in my own businesses. Uh, XVG isn't a business, but XVG as well as... Uh, my uh, crypto centric businesses around the world, as well as uh, living it up, balling out, uh, having some leisurely travel, and I'll probably be doing uh, a lot more conferences and a lot more places. And uh, thank God, and uh, God willing, it continues, inshallah, that uh, my health uh, remains. Uh, good and as well as my wealth uh, because I'd like to do some uh, pumping on them exchanges my damn self um, but yeah that's my announcement and then also I'm going to be at Mining Disrupt 2021 uh, representing Cryptocurrency Mining LLC which I'm the sole owner of uh but I'm hoping to work with my buddies uh, uh, on this one, uh, Rodrigo and Michael, uh, and uh, although I I own that LLC outright, but we'll figure out something because uh, I got all the uh, I got I got the connections for all the new manufactured mining rigs, like all of them. Um, uh, uh, competitive price lists. I have a really good uh, marketing strategy. Elon caused some fuss uh, when he stopped taking Bitcoin due to environmental concerns about Bitcoin. Uh, so one of the mission statement objectives of cryptocurrency mining LLC, uh, besides making a lot of money and providing really good uh, quality and customer service and making my clients uh, as much money as I possibly can. Uh, in addition to those objectives, one of my objectives is to use uh, cryptocurrency mining ship, uh, <laughs> mining ship, cryptocurrency mining LLC as a flagship to push an initiative to create an alliance between uh, nature uh, restoration uh, community foundations or organizations and the proof of work mining cryptocurrency community because they can coexist and uh, mutually benefit uh, from each other. Um, and uh, so far what I got in plan now, which was uh, one of my uh, concepts for the pop-up booths that I'm going to have at my uh, stand at uh, Mining Distro 2020, I'm going to have a booth uh, near the exit of the conference center, uh, where the, uh, not the un exit of the conference center, but of the auditorium where all the speakers are going to speak. And... Uh, a few booths away from where they serve alcoholic drinks. So I think I got Primo. Uh, I think I got a Primo booth. I think it's even better than the uh, larger booths that are pricier. And I'm going to have a very cool design. You've seen my, if you follow me on Twitter, you've seen my graphic art and uh, my animations. Uh, the backdrop won't be my own mar art, it'll be something that I helped customized, uh, cryptocurrency themed.
hand painted on canvas, but it is going to definitely be a crowd pleaser and stand out in the crowd. People are going to be wanting to uh, take selfies with uh, my booth decor just because of how cool it's going to be. Um, so I'm really excited about that July 20th. Uh, and right now I got uh, eBay mining rig sales business going. Um, and I'm not exiting on uh, mining by any means. Um, with the Dogecoin moon, uh, some of my mining rigs increased significantly in value. Uh, the, those mining rigs also mine XVG. Uh, but I'm being pragmatic and strategic and want to make cryptocurrency mining LLC a cornerstone in the cryptocurrency industry, specifically the cryptocurrency mining industry, specifically the, the, the distribution of both new and pre-owned mining rigs uh, in uh, North America, primarily the United States. Uh, I am planning on pissing on that fire hydrant and, uh, excuse my language, but sorry, not sorry. I, I am looking for, uh, ex uh, aggressive expansion and I have a very, uh, intricate step by plan, uh, to achieve these goals, um, uh, both offering mining rig selling services as well uh, as buying services. So people that have mining farms that are getting rid of their old inventory and buying new inventory instead of taking rock bottom wholesale rates and wholesale people usually want a, whole, a smaller price for buying wholesale. Um, and... Uh, uh, so when they're upgrading to new mining rigs or relocating and liquidating the mining rigs at a facility, whatever it may be, one of the services I plan on intending uh, to offer is having uh, the client sign over the mining rigs to me. I'll sell them retail uh, and get more closer to market rate for the mining rigs rather than bulk wholesale rate and private sales. Uh, that way the client makes money, I make money uh, and more money than would have been made otherwise. And uh, everybody wins. And uh, one of the uh, parts I was talking about before in regards to the alliance between proof of work mining and the uh, nature, uh, not preservation, not conservation, but restoration, as in uh, replanting trees in place that have, places that have been the forest and replenishing uh, fisheries in places that have been overfished and that sort of thing. Um, you know, not just uh, considering what nature we have uh, and preserving what nature we have, uh, but uh, um, I know, uh, creating a future where, uh, you know, there's going to, nature and the environment will prosper even more. Um, and it can coexist uh, perfectly with proof of work mining, which also can subsidize alternative energy. For example, my buddy lives out in Rodrigo. I mean, my buddy Rodrigo lives out in Paraguay, and there is a, uh, I think it's the world's largest hydroelectric dam between uh, Paraguay and Brazil. Um, and during non-peak hours for electricity grid use, uh, the electricity that isn't being used is wasted. It's just shot back into the ground, and that's because it's less efficient to uh, store it with batteries, although there's uh, some other means I've heard about of uh, conserving that energy for resources, uh, 
later. I've talked to other people about. Uh, but anyway, there's there's no reason that the proof of work mining community can't uh, coexist and mutually benefit from the uh, uh, from each other. Uh, and uh, so, what are cryptocurrency mining LLCs uh, plans, which I have started already with an auction that ended three in the morning last night, is with each mining rig I sell through cryptocurrency mining LLC um, one tree will be planted in an area that has been uh, affected by deforestation so it will be cool to know uh, when buying a mining rig that not only are you mining a mining rig but somewhere out there in the world there's going to be a new tree that is grown that wouldn't have been grown otherwise unless you had bought in that mining rig which is pretty cool creates habitats for animals and all sorts of things and uh, maybe I'll get into some other stuff related to ocean uh, save the whales you know uh, but then on a serious note there is a, a, we need more sustainability and less pollution in our oceans um, not only for the fishing industry, but, uh, you know, just to keep our world beautiful. Um, so, yep, that's what I'm up to. And in regards to that reseller option that I'm going to be working on um, for people that have wholesale lots of used mining rigs that they want to get rid of but would like to get a higher price for, what I would do is offer uh, retail sales uh, through my LLC, which has a good name, Cryptocurrency Mining LLC, and uh, as long as they fulfill their obligations and I fulfill mine, I could get a uh, percentage from it. They would make more money than they would sell on wholesale. I would make some money than not working with them at all, and everyone wins, and then I have all the sources for all the mining rigs, ASICs, and GPUs. Uh, I'm not going to say all the mining rigs because uh, there's, but pretty much all the name brand mining rigs. I got the plug. Uh, so everything is good. And then I got resources uh, for some of the best electricity rates in the United States and as well as resources for some of the best electricity uh, in other countries. Uh, one country to be specific uh, outside of China and Venezuela um, where we can really uh, dominate this niche and uh, make cryptocurrency mining LLC into a major, major player. So I'm just going to keep getting out to conferences, building websites, promo materials, and uh, getting the, the brand name out there. Um, and either I'll stick with it for the long run, or I could uh, sell it for millions of dollars once the uh, PR side of the coin is uh, perfected or as good as I can get it and the cash flow side of the coin which is on its way uh, is looking good I could either uh, just sell it and step away from it or I could uh, continue developing it and going uh, forward with it and looking to do uh, my own online store as well as Amazon sales, but right now I'm really focused on eBay sales. eBay auctions are a really good option for me right now. I had a little bit of PayPal uh, and eBay difficulties, and I've said some terrible things about PayPal in the past, but I would like to uh, coexist with them and, uh, you know, uh, do business together friendly uh, because... Um, you know, I really do appreciate that PayPal does now offer uh, the ability for customers to buy a cryptocurrency on their platform. So they're coming around. Uh, so, you know, everybody can win. Everybody can win. Um, anyway, Verge Fam, 
uh, Fueled by Verge. Uh, we got uh, Neil on board, uh, football player uh, from Fueled by Verge, in addition to Danny, in addition to Gil. Uh, so Fueled by Verge initiative is going real strong. Uh, the merchandise is looking beautiful. Right now, I'm wearing my uh, base guy shirt, one of uh, Frankie McDonald's buddies and a regular podcaster. Um, cool dude out in Canada. Um, but I'm going to be rocking more of my Verge Currency merch. I'm going to get more Verge Currency merch. And I'm going to get all sorts of goodies and giveaways at the conference that I'm going to in July to incentivize social media posts as well as incentivize people filling out client forms and then uh, maybe doing some type of drawing uh, so people will sign up to my uh, email list as I develop my website and uh, get on uh, getting on Facebook and Google Ads. Although I don't think Facebook supports crypto, a lot of crypto related stuff I'll see. Uh, but I'm making sure to cross my T's and dot my I's uh, to do everything absolutely properly so there's no way uh, that I will run into uh, problems financially, legally, or otherwise. For example, the other day, I was audited by both PayPal and eBay, and they gave me like a Marty Bird level audit, and uh, I'm doing everything legit, so I have nothing to worry about, um, but anyway, I uh, had all of my transactions flagged, and uh, my uh, active listings were removed, and uh, both eBay and PayPal separately asked me for uh, all my documents, everything short of my social security card they asked me for, and fortunately I was able to provide it, including invoices going back to 2018. I don't know what I would have done without those invoices uh, and receipts, uh, bank statements, and uh, all sorts of stuff. Uh, and I think sometimes uh, maybe IT people or customer support people working at those companies, when they say cryptocurrency mining C, uh, mining LLC, they'd be like, is that for real? Yes, sir, it is for real, and it's mine. Just like VVS.Diamond's domain name is mine. And uh, so I'm really happy. Uh, but the next phase of XVGUL, there's going to be a lot of traveling going on, and I'm going to be going to a lot of conferences. And I think the cryptocurrency mining conferences specifically are a good place for me because there's so much, uh, there's been a little bit of a rift between the Bitcoin maximalists and all coiners. And the cryptocurrency mining people are all about, they're, they're mining. I don't care which coins they're mining. Uh, you know, they're in it for the technology of blockchain and supporting a secure and encrypted infrastructure uh, and whatever coins that may be, uh, you know, uh, in the trend to mind, uh, they're with it. Uh, so I think I'll fit in very well there. And I'm, I think I'm going to make more money the first day that I'm there than I will for the cost of the booth. And uh, and by the way, the ticket prices have gone up. Uh, there's gonna be uh, 1,500 people capacity there and the tickets are $700 a piece, um, which is pretty steep, but at least that'll give me a chance to network with some high rollers and some big companies because there's some stuff that cryptocurrency mining LLC uh, can't do on its own at this time. For example, uh, repairing broken hash boards, that requires expensive equipment and expertise, but I can work with other people who do that sort of thing. And if I get, I'm, I'm really, 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 really good at marketing, uh, and lead generation. So if I get customers coming to me 
that are saying like, hey, I want these passports repaired or I want these bonding rigs refurbished. And I know somebody, a uh, hobbyist or a company, depending on the quantity needed that does that sort of thing, I can send the other person my customer and work out a deal where I get 20% of the sale or something, they get 80% of the sale. Uh, the customer gets the service they needed. Uh, the provider who does the repair, who might not be the most uh, savvy in business or marketing, or maybe they are and just need new customers, they also win, I win, everybody wins. Uh, and I'll be able to buy a lot more XVG and I'll be able to do a lot more world traveling uh, now that I'm not almost dying of AIDS and I'm not going to die of AIDS. Uh, I'm, I'm not even planning on dying at all. I'm not, I'm, I'm not with that. Uh, 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 anyway, I'm much healthier now is point being, and I've gotten my vaccines. And as of May 28th in Virginia, COVID restrictions are lifted and a lot of, uh, uh, anyway, I'm not, I'm not worried about any COVID stuff. That's, uh, I wasn't worried about COVID stuff from the start. When I first moved from Virginia beach, uh, from Ohio to Virginia beach, I thought I was going to be here for like two and a half weeks. Like, uh, I'm, I'm not worried about none of that stuff as, uh, that stuff doesn't phase me. Uh, I would take it precautions so my family and loved ones don't worry about me. And, uh, and I had a good uh, family reunion with most of the family uh, last week, last weekend. And uh, it was really good to be able to see each other in person. Uh, my grandmother turned 89 recently and uh, she's an amazing woman. And uh, it was really good. Uh, reconnecting with her and some of the rest of the family, some of my cousins I haven't seen in a long time, a uh, really good experience. So these are the major updates from XVG Well. Uh, yep, I've had more near-death experiences than I can explain, and I have survived, and I've had many ups and downs financially, but now I'm thriving and uh, I'm gonna continue to thrive and stay on the up and up. And of course, I'm gonna break bread and uh, give opportunities where practical while also not being stupid and uh, making sure that I'm very well protected um, and my assets are as well. And uh, anyway, uh, Verge fam going to be on the up and up. XVG on the up and up. Verge core team doing an amazing job. I went and applied for the ambassador program. I sort of like my position as the self-appointed ambassador that nobody asked for, uh, but got anyway. Uh, and I'm trying to do a better job in those things. But to be honest, I, I like... Uh, some content that is just uh, probably uh, to extent strict for the uh, more business formal uh, approach that Verge Currency core team is going for, which is a smart approach. Uh, you know, Doge, Shiba, Asscoin, all these coins have done very well in these past months, and they're fun. I get it, and uh, they do the job. Um, but I think the niche of Verge being currency and done in a very professional way, spanning across all different industries, is uh, the path forward. And uh, Verge currency is fast, Verge currency is low fees, Verge currency is the future, and Verge currency is the next Bitcoin. And when I say the next Bitcoin, I say that because either uh, when, if and when Verge becomes like a hundred billion market cap coin, uh, and if and when Verge becomes, has mass adoption where there's thousands of transactions a minute, 
then the uh and the price per coin gets higher then the transaction fees uh might be a little bit more limiting of a factor in regards to everyday sales so at that point it may become a better store value than a currency but as it is now it works perfectly as a currency um for for normal people uh, for like buying a uh a, a soda at the bodega or buying uh some fresh grown tomatoes or squash or asparagus or some shit at the farmer's market um you know xvg makes perfect sense the way it's designed especially with the beautiful ios out wallet and uh whatnot a lot of other cool stuff going on with verge currency and verge currency partners um but verge currency makes perfect sense for that stuff and i think uh uh you know i, I think the transition between electric cars and gasoline cars is not going to happen as soon as uh, people in the media make it sound like it will uh, because I know there's still people with down payments uh, that have to pay off their gasoline cars for the next 20 years so I don't know about those government goals for phasing out gasoline vehicles by 2024 or 2027 or whenever the numbers are are even uh, sane uh, but uh, the what, I, what I'm trying to say is I think uh, one of the niches that Verge Currency could uh, expand aggressively into and it may be good that uh, Gil Listener is on the team because he's in motorsports as well as Danny Robertson is uh, getting uh, Verge Currency integrated at uh gas stations at gas pumps if you've been to the gas stations lately a lot of them in the united states they have video screens on them when you're checking out it'd be perfect just to display a verge currency qr code scan the qr code pay with verge pump your gasoline be on your way and it's fast enough uh where without Lightning Network, that wouldn't be practical with Bitcoin. So I think Verge Currency has many inherent advantages. And yes, every coin can be replicated. There's more than 5,000 coins on the coin market cap, but guess which was one of the first 100 ever exchanged? Verge Currency. Guess which was one of the first one, two, or three coins to integrate Tor privacy ip obfuscation uh into its wallets xvg uh innovator and pioneer of privacy coins uh which coin is mineable on multiple algorithms xvg uh which coin has 30 second block times for uh lightning fast transactions xvg uh, which coin has extremely low transaction fees? XVG. Which coin has a sexy iOS wallet that is intuitive and easy to use that you probably could teach your grandmother how to use it? XVG. Uh, which community uh, had the highest percentage gains in the history of any cryptocurrency in a calendar year, year to date period? Uh, your first answer might be Doge, your first answer might be Shiba, your first answer might be XRP, your answer would be wrong. Verge Currency holds that record, and that record was set in 2017, and as far as I know, that record has never been beat, and uh, I still haven't found anything in the stock or commodity markets that has beat XVG. From the absolute lows to the absolute highs in 2017 calendar year, it was around a 2 million percent uh, gain. Uh, and yes, 2 million percent, not 200,000 percent, not 20,000 percent, not 2,000 percent, not 200 percent. All those would be awesome. A lot of people would be more than happy with 20 percent gain, but a uh, 2 million percent gain. 
But uh, going forward, though, the uh, uh, objective in my eyes, I don't really talk to the core team members too often. I'm not on the core team. Uh, uh, but I think the goal really needs to be uh, sustainability, sustainable development uh, for integrating Verge currency as a currency in the world. And we're on our way, aren't we? In the words of Jeremiah Phillips, I really like that YouTube channel. That's a funny YouTube channel if you uh, got time to check it out. Clutch Williams is a good YouTube channel as well. Uh, there's a variety of YouTube channels I really enjoy uh, recently. I, uh, I, I'm still in grind mode. I've focused most of my energy on strategy and work. Uh, but when I do take leisure time, some of the uh, guilty indulgences I have on YouTube is, uh, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, but Guga Foods, Gauga Foods, where he uh, does... Uh, makes all sorts of Wagyu and Kobe beef steaks. And then uh, another one I came across recently where this guy from the UK, he takes, uh, he uh, rates takeout restaurants and he just, uh, he just pulls up his like lawn chair and his fold out table right in front of the restaurant on the sidewalk or on the street across the street in the grass or in the parking lot and he just pops up his table and eats his food and does not give a fuck it is it's pretty gangster uh i, I like that youtube channel uh there's there's a lot of youtube channels that i like uh but anyway and uh check out the meteorological report it's a lot of fun i've been doing that with joey ali and uh, Frankie McDonald lately, and they have a lot of really interesting guests on there. In this past week's episode, there are some stories on there uh, that I wasn't even aware of what's going on up in Canada. Uh, Canada, a uh, very interesting country, and I can say that uh, they, they stick by the stereotypes of uh, being uh, really genuine nice people out there and I think that's because they have a a good sense of community because it's such a large uh, country geographically but uh, much more sparsely populated than the United States so it's about uh, 10% the population in the United States so uh, you know you sell 10% of the records selling 10,000 records in Canada is the equivalent of selling 100,000 records in the United States. So there's people that are very well known and famous in Canada that aren't necessarily in the United States. And uh, I would say vice versa, but not really. They know who the American celebrities are as well. Um, But there's a lot of really cool people there. The other thing is, it's too dang cold most of the year so you know people got to look out for each other so they have a really good sense of community um people live spread out and uh it's a lot of good people up there i've I've enjoyed over the past eight nine ten months i don't know uh uh, networking with uh and going on skypes and podcasts and both private non-recorded skype groups as well as uh uh, podcasts that are broadcast on YouTube, internet radio station things, as well as I'm also weekly featured on FM radio on in three different provinces in Canada, including Toronto, which is a highly populated area. So that makes me happy to know that every week, uh, you know, there's uh, the host is like, uh, uh, now let's check in with Peter Glanko from Virginia Beach, Virginia. Uh, that's uh, that's fun for me. Uh, so uh, anyway, you know, my YouTube channel has uh, died down a little bit. I've lost two XVG related uh, YouTube accounts. I need to get the center point account uh, restored, which is possible. It's a little bit of a complicated process. I've 
I'm not going to explain that now. Uh, yeah, I need to get the cryptocurrency money LLC uh, Twitter pages and social media pages going before that conference July 20th. I have a lot of steps by step plans uh, to make that happen. Uh, but I'm going to make a splash there. And, uh, you know, the, the theme of my booth will include Bitcoin and other coins, but it will also include Verge and uh, maybe some Verge merchandise. And I'm going to have some uh, really nice merch giveaways at that conference as incentives for, you know, the social media. So people filling out contact forms, you know, I'm, I'm looking to find out people's needs for what mining rigs they want to buy or if they own mining rigs and want to sell their mining rigs and upgrade to new mining rigs, or if they have a bunch of broken hash boards, I could take those off their hands, sell them, get retail value for them, and uh, split the cut with them. And uh, people would prefer to buy from a trusted source like myself, uh, Cryptocurrency Mining LLC, which is an SEC registered entity and I've been selling uh, Bitmain mining rigs since the year 2017 is when I made my first uh, Bitcoin mining rig sales. So I feel like I have a, a really good strategy here to become a cornerstone in the cryptocurrency mining supply industry. And I realize it's a competitive industry, but hey, I go out there, I get things done and I make a splash. I make a big old whale splash. And uh, speaking of whale, uh, I'm growing my bags fast. And uh, there's nothing anybody can do about it. I'm not saying that there's anybody out there that would want me not to uh, do very well uh, in cryptocurrency or financially in general, but I'm really excited to be back to balling and I'm doing it uh, based on my own strategy. And uh, frankly, uh, the business plan that I'm starting with doesn't even require a lot of startup capital uh, at all, really. I'm, I'm really, uh, I'm really a, a uh, nifty in regards to uh, finding uh, ways, shortcuts uh, to make money from no money. Uh, and uh, yeah, and then uh, BBS Donor Coin is still on the back burner, uh, as is BBS Domains. But I'm hoping there's some uh, rich high rollers at the conference where I can be like, hey. Are you also invested in uh, domain investments? Let me show you my VVS.diamonds domain name because that currently re redirects to another website that I don't own, uh, which is an XVG accepting online casino that I receive affiliate commissions from if I uh, have referrals uh, there. And disclaimer, follow all laws if... Uh, you do such a thing, uh, but, uh, but I might be able to bring that in topic of uh, conversation with uh, some wealthy people and maybe they'll blow some money on my uh, referral link or coupon code or whatever. And uh, that reminds me, you can go on cryptoemporium.eu and use co coupon code XVGWellRef. And I need to get back in contact with Crypto Emporium. If anybody watching this has contacts at Crypto Emporium. I lost contact with them after uh, my XVG well real page was suspended for a bogus reason. Um, and uh, I just reached out to LA Powell earlier, LA Powell Wallet. They're real cool with me. I'm real cool with LA Powell. I'm real cool with Binance. Um, a lot of companies, and I don't think. Uh, I don't think uh, Crypto Emporium has any problem with me. I haven't done anything wrong. Uh, I just lost my former Twitter account. They might not realize uh, I have a new Twitter account now. Um, but anyway, I need to uh, get back in touch with them originally 
Frankie McDonald wanted them to sell Frankie McDonald bobbleheads and action figures and books on their website, which I thought was a really good idea. I was trying to facilitate happen, uh, but that was around the time that uh, YouTube put the band hammer on my XVG wheel page on their uh, rage driven censorship crackdown before the elections uh, based on some silly political banter that I was saying. Uh, I, it, it gets to me that there, that there are internet platforms, mainstream internet platforms that censor indie platform people for silly internet banter. One of the best reasons the internet was created was for the fact that there is silly internet banter and there will always be silly internet banter. And if the social media websites uh, keep doing away with a uh, doing away with that sort of thing, deplatforming people and over moderation, you know, uh, blockchain social media networks will take over. Uh, and even non-blockchain social media take, uh, networks will take the market share. They, they think they're untouchable because they just got the majority market share and uh, are well known. But in the digital age, things change quickly. And uh, if you screw up too many times and uh, a lot of the deplatformings are major screw ups, it might be politically correct. Uh, to the crowd out in Silicon Valley, but that doesn't speak for the rest of the country, the rest of the world. Um, but anyway, that's a different story. I'm not going to get into politics or anything, this sort of thing. All I want to say is buy XVG. Buy XVG. I don't care who you are, where you're from, what you believe in. Buy XVG. And let's all unite together. Uh, to take XVG to the next level, and XVG keeps on, keeps on, keeps on leveling up, and that's all we know how to do. We forgot how to lose. We only know how to win, and that's the spirit uh, that uh, I wanted to talk about this morning. So, good morning, Verge fam.